Yeah. The gentleness today. I feel that, yes. Everybody put on your oils, that's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. We're good, I think. Yeah. Is anyone coming down the I don't see anyone coming. I think we're okay. That's just the bird. <laughs> mm. Welcome to Meditation Mount and to this sound meditation. It's a wonderful evening to gather together. And we're here in the International Garden of Peace. Perfect setting to come into resonance with the deeper aspects of ourself. There's a rock over there with an engraved word on it. It's one of the principles that we work with here at Meditation Mount. It says unanimity. It refers to a seamless web of life that we're part of. We're part of this multidimensional field of resonance that connects us with all things, even though sometimes we feel disconnected and forget that we're part of life. So at a soul level, all humans are connected. At the level of thought, we share, as well as our own individual mind, we share a collective mind. And we share a collective feeling body. So we are in touch with each other. We're in touch with life. And as we open ourselves, life touches us. So it's all about establishing right, resonant relationship with self, others, and the full spectrum ecosystem of Gaia. So one of the beauties of having a sound meditation, because it is, has to do with resonance. So when we are in resonance with ourselves, that, that deep aspect of ourselves, the deep note of our soul, we're in harmony. And when we're in resonance with each other, we can be in harmony and sing in harmony with each other. And when all the different realms that inhabit this planet, all the different beings can be in resonance with each other, then you have a planet that sings as one sphere. Now, that may be thousands of years off, but we're committed to starting the singing of the one planet right now. So this evening, Diana and Kelly will be leading you in a sound meditation, and they will explain more about how to enter into it and to participate more <coughs> fully. I just want to let us know that when we're here in the International Garden of Peace, we are connected with all our sisters and brothers around the world, some of whom are not experiencing peace at this time. And so what we will do at the end, and we can do it during as well, is to make sure that whatever peace and harmony we generate together and emerges in our own hearts, we send it out around this field of resonance that connects us as one human family because we can affect the psychological climate of the, of the world by what we put into it. Positive emissions, not toxic emissions. So we're here to be in resonance with each other through Diana and Kelly's masterly guidance. So over to the two of you. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Don't do it again. Yeah, yeah. How many, who, who's been here before? So you know, okay, so you know I always do this. So good evening, everyone. Good evening. I think we got another good one. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. There we go. Thank you. Welcome to Meditation Mount. I am Deanna, and I am one third of Trinity of Sound. Our uh, sister in sound, Karina, is out of town, but she'll be back next Friday. 
um, and I'm here with Kelly, and we are very, very happy to be here. So I'm going to ask a very, well, before I get into that, um, show of hands, how many people this is your first sound experience or sound bowls, sound bath, sound healing? Raise your hands nice and high. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, welcome. And so if this is your, if you've been to a sound experience before, raise your hand nice and high so we can see. That's beautiful. Okay, wonderful. How many of you, this is your first time to Meditation Mount? Wow. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Well, we hope that, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. And how many people are veterans, Meditation Mount? All right. Mm -hmm. Woo-woo. Okay, <laughs> good stuff. We got to celebrate everyone. So Welcome. Um, sound, when we really think about it, sound is a building block of life, for life. And each and every one of us is an emitter, a broadcaster and receptor to sound. And in this very particular moment, each of us is emitting a very specific frequency and sound and note that is already sustaining and holding this particular container. So before we go into the actual sound, we will have an opportunity to really tap into the sound or, and or quality that we are going to offer to this very intentional space so that we can also broadcast that out across the world. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So one of the things that we love to do, again, I'm jumping all over. Um, <laughs> if you have your cell phone with you, go ahead and turn it on silent or turn it off completely. Mm -hmm. um, I see some of you all have the parasols. Once you put them down and it's a little bit windy, and if one rolls away, it's okay. Because guess what? It's part of the sound experience. <laughs> that <laughs> is adding sound. Okay? It's all good. If you fall asleep and catch yourself snoring, guess what? It's part of the sound. Everything is purposeful. It happens, and I love it when I hear it, okay? Also know that sound experiences, they happen to sometimes bring up different emotions. And can I ask a personal question? Who is feeling emotional lately? Mm -hmm. Just me? <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's be honest. It's a safe space. Thank you. <laughs> These are very interesting times, and a lot of it is because we're right in the, in the eclipse season. We have a, a full lunar eclipse on Sunday, so it, and it's ooh, and Scorpio, so it's bringing up everything, <laughs> everything. Um, so we're going to feel that, and we're going to hopefully help to lighten that tonight, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so one of the things that we like to do here at Meditation Mount is take a moment to connect eye to eye, heart to heart, soul to soul with the people who are in the space with us. So it allows us to just, you know, acknowledge each other um, because your presence, again, is so important. And it means the world to us that you're here with us on a Friday evening. So we'll just take a moment. We're going to, Kelly and I are going to look around, just connecting and acknowledging everyone in the space. And if you don't want us to connect to your beautiful eyes, it's all good. You can just look <laughs> away. You can find something else to look at. Like, oh, somebody just called me or something. It's all good. <laughs> but it just feels good to connect. To smile. Thanks for the smiles. Yeah. It feels so good. Thanks for looking around the parasol so we can connect. I appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all are, are committed. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. That's what we need is commitment to our specific gift and how we show up, right? You all get to connect eye to eye, heart to heart with the beautiful beings who are around you in this space. Just take a moment to just look and connect with someone you haven't had a chance to meet, someone you don't even know. You can give them a thumbs up, a peace sign, a hey, 
okay? <laughs> a heart, you can wink, whatever feels good, natural. Just acknowledging this moment in time. Because truthfully, mm -hmm. we will never, ever, ever gather together with this particular group of people again. Never. So let's, with that in mind, let's look one more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's just scan one more time. Oh, I love the waves over there. Mm -hmm. So fresh. Thank you. Beautiful. And as you start to come back to a nice seat, I invite you all to close your eyes and just begin to bring some movement to the body, just allowing the body temple to sway left to right, right to left. Just gentle as we start to pay attention to the subtle soft, inviting wind. Bringing your awareness and attention to your breath. Deepening your inhale and slowing down each exhale. Allowing the body temple to come to stillness taking the next few moments to just survey your body temple, your individual universe, starting from the crown of your head and just paying attention to what you are finding. Are you experiencing any tension anywhere? Don't judge it, don't fix it, just acknowledge. Allowing your awareness, again, starting from the crown and ending at the tips of your toes. See if you can feel what the toenails feel like. Really bringing awareness to your body. What does your body have to say to you? And once you've surveyed your kingdom and or queendom, I want you to take a visit to your heart. And as I shared earlier, these are, these are kind of some emotional times. It can be emotions of joy, it could be pain, it could be grief, it can be sadness, it could be bliss. Sometimes we can experience opposite emotions within five minutes of each other. And it's all good. It's all purposeful. But at this moment, if there is an emotion that you're feeling or experiencing that may not be comfortable, and you want to offer it up to be transmuted, into something a, a bit more purposeful and light. I offer you to just sit with your heart and see what that is. Now I want you to imagine this very big, beautiful pot that is sitting on the fire of your heart. And I want you to very intentionally place that feeling into that pot. And I want you to stir it. Begin to stir that pot, allowing the fire to begin to Transmute it. Really stirring up that heart. And if you so choose and would like to share aloud 
what you're stirring in hopes of transmuting it into something higher and lighter, you can speak that aloud because I'll stir it too. So I'll start. Disappointment and uncertainty. Anger. Frustration. Yes. Yes. Keep stirring that pot. Grief. Yes. So feelings of grief and anxiety, impatience, anger, rage, disappointment, uncertainty. Stress, anxiety, loss, pain and loss. It's okay to acknowledge because even those emotions we don't want to acknowledge, they always have information to give us. Mm -hmm. Breathe into it. Breathe, breathe and acknowledge. And even if you didn't speak your word aloud, it's okay because it's being held and heard in your heart. So at this time, as we continue to stir that inner pot of the heart, we're gonna add an ingredient that will balance up and bring a little bit more levity and flavor and lightness to that emotion that we're wanting to let go of and release be joy, it could be patience, it could be wisdom, beauty. Whatever that is, I invite you to add that to your pot. And if it feels and it feels good, you can speak it aloud into this container so we can imprint that together. Grace. Grace. Gratitude. Gratitude. Love. Love. Acceptance. Acceptance. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Connection. Connection. Peace. Trust, mm -hmm. courage, courage. Mm -hmm. clarity, clarity, Long belonging, Comfort. yes, mm -hmm. contentment, beauty, wonder, wonder, innocence, mm -hmm. innocence. I want you to just, for a moment, you can allow the pot to continue to simmer. Knowing that there is something beautiful being prepared for you. Even the scraps can make beautiful feasts. So even the emotions that don't feel good can turn into something quite lovely if we allow it. So continue to breathe into that intention that you're setting, whether it's peace, joy, clarity, beauty, love, wisdom. Begin to see it surrounding you, that aroma, that fragrance just enveloping you. See and feel it swirling around the mount See it swirling around your loved ones. See it swirling around your communities. And see it swirling around this planet. Breathing and breathing. Continuing to hold this space as Kelly guides us into breathwork and vocal toning. So keeping our eyes closed, 
maybe placing a hand on our heart and one on the earth if that feels right. We're just going to be doing a very simple breath and then a little bit of group vocal toning where we'll be making a sound together and moving some energy in our throat chakra. So let's just breathe in through our nose, long and deep, filling up our bellies with air. And when we inhale, our belly expands. So inhale long and slow. Holding it at the top. And then exhaling back down into the earth. Inhaling again from the earth into our bellies. Opening up the heart. Exhaling back down into the earth. Inhaling again from the earth and really visualize that energy coming up from the earth into your body, into your belly, opening up your heart, holding and letting go back down into the earth. Inhaling again from the earth into your belly, opening up the chest, holding at the top, Exhaling back down into the earth. Now this time, really visualize it. You're pulling the energy from the earth into your belly, into your chest, creating space, moving energy. And when you exhale, you're going to be exhaling out the crown of your head. So visualize the energy on the exhale going four or five feet above your head out the crown chakra. Exhale out the top. And now when you inhale, you're going to be pulling from above your crown all the way down in through your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar plexus into the belly, holding for a moment and then exhaling back down into the earth. Now breathe a little deeper on this one, even so. Inhale into the belly from the earth, pulling all the energy into your heart center, sitting with it for a moment, and then exhaling out the crown of your head. Sitting in the stillness. Now inhaling from above the crown of your head, pulling the energy all the way down your central channel into your belly, exhaling into the earth. Now, after the next inhale, your entire exhale will be a hum. So pull again from the earth into your body, holding it, and then exhale with a hum. Hum. And continue this inhaling and exhaling as a hum. Hum. push through the hum and see how strong you can make it. See if you can feel the vibration in your body. And where do you feel it? Hum. Hum. next hum when the energy builds up behind your lips open up into a ma hum ma to 
together. Hum. what it feels like to be you right now. When you're ready to exhale, exhale. Staying in this space, keeping your eyes closed if possible, gently move yourself down into a shavasana or whatever feels good for you. Really settling into the earth. Feeling the parts of your body that are being held directly by the earth. Relaxing your face, your mouth. Opening the jaw so it's not clenched. Breathing deep into your heart center. Feeling the connection of the earth at the back of your heart center and breathing into that space. Feeling the relaxation all the way down to the tips of your toes. Letting the warmth of the sun warm your body. Just completely letting go. Noticing the birds in the background. Letting go.
slowly bringing your awareness back to your body temple. For those of us who are already sitting up, just begin to sway in that tree-like manner, left to right, bringing some movement back into the body temple. For those of us who are lying down still, begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Stretching out those limbs, extending the arms overhead, giving the body a nice stretch. Slowly allowing those arms to cascade to your side through your energetic fields. If you practice Kundalini Yoga, then you know that they teach that we have 10 bodies. So go ahead and just allow those hands to sweep through those different energy fields. Beautiful. And for those of you who are still lying down, slowly come into a fetal position on either your left or right side and slowly bring yourself into a seated position. And I invite everyone just to take a moment to look at yourself, look at your hands, look at the person you came with, look around you. Does anything feel or seem different? And now that we're all sitting up, <laughs> I invite you to extend those arms out as wide as you can to the side and just get a nice heart opening stretch in. And then you're going to clasp those arms around yourself, giving yourself the tightest squeeze. Yes, love on yourself. Beautiful. We're going to open those arms again, nice and wide, opening that heart, extending that heart giving yourself another tight squeeze. And this time I want you to squeeze and adore and love yourself like you mean it. You wanna rub those shoulders and kiss yourself. Mwah. Thank yourself for being here tonight. We're gonna open those arms one more time, nice and wide. And this time, if you came with someone, you're gonna turn your body towards them and hug them. And if you came by yourself, it's okay, because guess what? You hug yourself again. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and now, we got one more hug. Go ahead and extend those arms one more final time. And this time, I want you to imagine yourself hugging Mama Earth. Hugging Gaia, <clears throat> hugging her, hugging the sky, earth, fire, air, water, sending them love. And let mama know how much you love her. Let me hear y'all say it. We I love, love you, mama. mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, mama. You love sending her some love <laughs> because it is felt. <laughs> and she needs that too, I feel. She's going through her own ascension. So let's send her love as well. So taking one more good look around you, smiling at whoever your eyes land on. Thank you so much for being here with us this evening. You could have been anywhere in California and the world, but you chose to be here with us tonight. We do not take that lightly. It is an honor to be able to hold space for you all. But please trust me when I say that we need this as well and we benefit mm -hmm. from your presence. <laughs> it's healing for us, so thank you. So on behalf of Meditation Mount, staff, board of directors, founders, those who have walked these grounds, those to come, I just say thank you for leaving your imprint on the Mount because it will be felt for generations and generations to come. So thank you for your love, your light, your patience, your wisdom, your brilliance, your beauty, and all the ways you show up in the world. 
because it is needed now more than ever. Thank you and have a beautiful evening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Good job. <laughs>